Okay. Well, hello, folks. Here we are at uh, the Anderson Ranch here in Snowmass Village, Colorado. And um, I was invited here to uh, give a workshop, and that's what I'm doing. So I just thought I'd bring you in on it. And um, um, what I've got to do here right now is trim a porcelain bowl, and I'm going to engrave this um, tea caddy. So we've already trimmed the tea caddy. And uh, this is in porcelain. And, um, and now I'm going to uh, engrave it. So for that, I'm going to need my, my fluting tool, which is uh, an ordinary hacksaw blade, which has had one end sharpened. And I'm going to use one of the ends, the rounded end, to do uh, a, a decoration here. So without further ado, let's get on with that. I hope I'm in the picture. <laughs> so what I'll do first of all, I think, is the is the body. So in fact, you're probably not going to see very much detail here, um, up close detail anyway. But so I'm just going to put in a couple of lines, engrave a couple of lines. Come off. Maybe if I put the lid on, then I can apply a little pressure, and you won't come off. Okay. Sometimes putting a couple of lines on a shape helps to, it gives you like a window where you can then decorate. So I'm now going to use my tool and I'm going to do this little bit of decoration. It's just a little bit of freehand decoration. Um, Yeah. If anybody's got any questions, don't, don't worry about the camera, just shoot away. This is incidentally, it's a completely random random decoration, it's just First it looks messy and then it begins to, it just, takes on its own. As you're doing this, are you thinking about what glaze you'll use and if so, what, what glaze are you likely to use? 
Yes, I'm thinking probably in this case, the kind of glaze that I will use will be some kind of celadon glaze. This kind of decoration engraved through on porcelain. Um, works very satisfactorily with a, um, a celadon glaze. Now it could be a celadon glaze that's got more iron in or less iron in. So it'll be greener or less green. Um, for those who don't know, a celadon glaze is a glaze that's got a certain amount of iron oxide in it and in reduction can give you from very pale blue through to real, rather nice jade green colours at high temperature, generally. Would you like me to get some of the sample piles? Yes, why not, if you, that'll be, thank you. Can you feel that Pardon? on the other side? Can I feel it on the other side? No, I can't. You're just holding it. It's not, it's not that thin. I've got plenty of material here to play with. Now, just hold it up to the camera a little bit there. So, and, and to you all, so you can get some idea of that. I mean, you see, as I say, each one is completely random. There's no rhyme or reason. I just try to get them going in all, all directions. Thank you, Danny. Yeah, these are typical um, Celadon glaze uh, colors in reduction. It somewhat depends on the clay body that you use. If it's got iron in it or if it doesn't have iron. If it's got iron in it, then it will be more speckly as the iron rises to the surface. Um, but those are the typical celadon colours. Okay, let's just press on with this. A bit more to do. Simon, have you been enjoying your time here at Anderson Ranch? Have I been enjoying my time immensely? Yes, very, very rich experience to be amongst so many people. All of us, you know, for like two weeks working together, you know, um, making pots. And yeah, I recommend it for anybody. Really recommend it as a place to come and to immerse yourself in not only ceramics, of course, but all the other disciplines that, that are going on here, you know, whether it be photography or painting or, or uh, woodwork or ceramics, of course, um, you know. Print making. What? Print making. Print making, yeah, print making. I mean, like, you see, I, I, to be honest with you, I haven't had time to really go around and see everything myself, which I would like to do. metal sculpture. Oh yeah, metal work, metal sculpturing. And it's all rather nice because it's in a rather nice setting here in the mountains, in Colorado here. And um, of course I'd never been out west at all. Never been out to this neck of the woods, so it's rather nice. And everybody's from different parts, which is also nice, I think. So you get a good interaction of of people of a similar mindset, all wanting to be creative and learn together. And when you combine that all in one place at one time, you know, it's a very, very rich, rich exp and worthwhile experience. Art for life's sake, I think my grandfather said. So, you see how easy it is? A child could do this, couldn't they? You just move the hacksaw blade over the surface. I 
I sort of think of it as teeming fish or tadpoles. And you look down into the water. and see masses of teeming fish. So what's the website here at Anderson Ranch? AndersonRanch.org. AndersonRanch.org. So, I've never done a workshop for so long, and I never didn't know whether I was how I was going to cope with it. But <laughs> for us, <laughs> okay, that is the finished. Um, engraved is that coming out there yeah. in the video? A little closer. A bit closer? Mm -hmm. That's, That's fine. Okay. What I'm going to do now is <coughs> engrave the lid. Okay. And again, I'm going to use my fluting tool. But first, I'm going to put the, the, the lid on the wheel to find out where the center is. Just going to center him up. I like to do this just to... of drying is the clay when you do this carving? Um, the clay, good question. Yeah, the clay is at a, a leather hard stage, but it's slightly what I would call like dry leather hard. It's not too soft. Hmm. Right, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do a different kind of fluting. On the lid, it's going to be a, like a radial flute which starts at the centre and goes out. Did you put a mark on there as a guide? No. You mean... When you mark the centre. The center. I only mark the centre. The rest... Just let my hand Okay. It's not that difficult to do actually. It takes a little practice, but like everything. Keep practicing. Keep practicing, folks. When you get to the end, how do you make sure it's even? Well, I look at it, you know, and I may, I might, I may make a few adjustments just at the end here now. But <coughs> it's generally, generally fairly even. And that goes on there. So then, that is the. Let's just put the camera on a different focus.
okay. So there we have it. There's the the radial fluted and engraved tea caddy. Okay. Voila. Okay, folks, that's it. We can carry on. I've actually still got a bowl that I can trim, but I can do that in a little, a little while. I haven't got to do it immediately. So if you've got things you're getting on with, then um, I'll shout out demo again when, I do, when I'm going to do that. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Keep practicing.